Hey, what's up guys? So welcome again to my YouTube channel. So um, if you are returning subscribers, I want to say uh, thank you for sticking around. Or if you are new to this channel, I want to say please subscribe and keep your notification bell on as well for our next video that will be coming up. You know, it's been uh, some days now since we last posted on YouTube. We are glad to be back and yeah, and we hope to be consistent this time around. So uh, for today's video, uh, mainly I'll be focusing on startup businesses or businesses that, that hope to use social media to uh, gain new customers and further increase their profit. So uh, one thing I want to say is that you should keep in mind that social media engagement is really important because the more people that engage with your contents on social media, the more people are likely uh, to, to view your content. And the more people that view your content, the more people are likely to come across your products or services you are offering. So this means the more people are likely to purchase one of your products or your services. So uh, the big question is, how can you achieve this engagement using social media, especially for startup businesses? So in this video, I'm gonna be providing you three tips on how you can use social media or how you can create a very engaging content on social media that will attract a lot of audiences or that will even help you to gain new customers on social media. So stick around as I draw you to three tips to use on social media to create a very engaging content. Tip number one, you want to make your post vicious. So when I say vicious, what do I mean is that um, you should learn to include things that people can see and relate to, right? Like images and videos. Um, you know, you don't just want to post mere writings because people find it difficult to relate to writings. A lot of people, a lot of people, it's not like they don't read, but a lot of people don't find it engaging to read um, a whole paragraph. A lot of people don't find it engaging to just read. People want wants to see images, people want to see videos and so on that are attractive. So, um, and coming back to the image and video, right? You, you don't want to, want to post images and videos that that are not appealing. Instead, um, you want to post a content that is appealing and most importantly, a content that fits within your brand identity because that's the most important thing when it comes to content creation. You should have a brand identity. You should have your colors, you should have your font, and you should have your, um, your things that make up your brand identity. So you should be consistent with that. So when, when you're posting something, make sure that the color on, on that image or within that video, it should relate directly to your brand identity, right? So those are the kind of images and videos that you want to post because images and videos, they, they also are like a, a great addition to our social media posts and, and marketing content because it acts in, in a form of creating more appealing Post that user will want to read and not just read but also engage with right so it's important to keep in mind that you include images you include gif and also short videos into your social media posts so that our readers or users or whoever that come across your post will be engaged with it and not just that so that you can have that um, your post can be accessible to the new users who Maybe probably are not following your social channels or maybe probably you you are not following their social ch channels because once the post is engaged obviously your post becomes accessible to new users so always keep in mind to create visuals always keep in mind to create images videos that are really really attractive so by doing so obviously you will get people to engage with your post so so tip number two is consistency and i believe consistency applies to everything right you don't want to post just a nice image today a nice video today that is attractive or, or image today that you got a lot of engagement today then after maybe one two three or four weeks before you post another one no you want to be consistent with it consistency is really important being consistent on social media is so so important even if you are not posting um a content that 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 is attractive for the fact that you are consistent 
to some extent you have uh, some new users who will come around to check your your page or your your how you call it your post right although they won't engage with it fully but the fact of the matter they will obviously check your page and there's a likelihood that some of them might, might react to it or some of them might engage with it but you have to be very very consistent so how can you be consistent about your contents you push you post on social media learn to set up a timeline you should have a specific timeline at what time uh my my audience firstly understand who are your audience right learn to have your audience in mind understand uh at what time can I have a uh, certain number of my audience online or at, at what time can I have uh, less number of my audience online so that you know when to post and when not to post because that's the uh, the idea behind you setting up a timeline right so let's say for example if you decide to post uh, two or three times a week let's say uh, Monday Wednesday and Friday for example right so you should understand on Monday at what time on Monday uh, your audience can be online taking into consideration the uh, geographical location of your audience firstly you should consider are your audience in the US are they in Africa are they in Asia and also considering their time zone as well because when you consider these things you will know when to post because if you post and you don't have a certain percentage or a huge percentage of your audience online at that time obviously you experience a less engagement so if you want to have a very huge engagement understand your audience before you can set up a timeline right so once you're done with that you set up your timeline be consistent with that if you set up your timeline to post monday wednesday and friday let's say you decide to post 10 a.m every monday or you decide to post 1 p.m every monday wednesdays and friday be consistent with that be very consistent because once you are consistent people will get engaged with your content and like i said the more people that engage with your content the more people are likely to view your content and the more people view your content the more people come across your products and your services you are offering and obviously the most the more people that come across your um, products or your services the more people might purchase your products or go for some of your services that you're offering so keep in mind it's good to be consistent about your content you post on social media so that's tip number two so lastly in order to create more engagement on your content learn to add relevant hashtags right so um so yes the thing right adding relevant hashtags is just another great way of making your post more attractive to new users because the the interesting thing about adding hashtag is that it it helps keywords to stand out in your post and, and it's it just a great way for for tracking discussions around specific topic and and also connecting you or connecting your content with people who are using that particular hashtag so in nutshell um, adding relevant hashtag to your post it, it helps your post to reach new audiences who are interested in your product or services right and 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 many of those new users there are people are not following you those, those are people who do not go about to search for you but based on um, if you are using facebook for example or social media based on the algorithms so the hashtag that you will add to that post it will be able to connect you to someone who have added that hashtag to their post before someone who is probably uh, looking out for that particular product or that particular service so you might just be lucky if you add that relevant hashtag the reason i use the word relevant because you don't just add uh, any hashtag to your post it should be something that tell us around the service that you're offering or the product that you are selling so that people can be able to connect with you specifically so let's say for example if you are selling clothes so if you are doing a hashtag maybe you should do something like you hashtag fashion wear or let's say men's wear so people who are looking out for men's wear or people who are interested in fashion 
that post will be all the rich people who are interested in fashion so right in general that post will reach people uh, that are interested in that kind of uh, talk topic of people that have added that as a hashtag before on their post so it's really important to add relevant hashtag to your post right so once you have done all these things obviously once you you take into consideration consistency you take into consideration adding a visual to your um your content that you post like videos images that that, that coincide with your brand identity and you you consider um, adding relevant hashtags that surrounds your your subject or your product or your service that you're offering obviously your post will be engaged you will see your level of engagement will rise because the reason why you're doing it or the the, uh, the intent of doing it is to have new customers not just new customers but people who will be willing to purchase your service and product because you want your customers to take action so to have those customers taking action you should do something that should trickles them to take action so what is that thing is engagement right so you want to have them engaged you want when someone uh, see your your, your post they say ah wow i'm interested in this can i check or can i know more or probably they want to reach out to you to know more about it right or they want to take action by buying right away so the only way you can achieve that is to create a very engaging content and that comes along with consistency that comes along with the kind of content you post how appealing is it so it's important you consider these things especially for startup businesses right it's important you consider these things and be consistent about it once you do so obviously you will see um there will be a lot of new customers coming your way and obviously your profits will increase so thank you again for sticking around like i said if you are a new subscriber to this channel please make sure to subscribe and keep your notification bell on for our next video which will be coming up next week friday and if you are a returning subscriber i want to say thank you so much for sticking around i want to say thank you so much for all of the support and also you can make use of the comment section for maybe if you have any uh, next video in mind that you will want us to come up with yeah feel free to leave that in the comment section and we really appreciate that so thank you so much